right, so this is Destiny's right here, right? So, um, you start as a Fateless one. As you can see, the top, your requirements are zero in every skill. Um, this is your your Rogue is your first one, which is a one finesse class. A Brawler is your first uh, Might class, and your Acolyte is your first Sorcery class. You start the game with one point in everything, so you can basically pick. I'll be picking a Rogue at the moment. But as you can see down here, you have five more might classes. So these are all high tier might. So your might at 11, you unlock the fighter. At 28, you get a soldier. And as you can see, like stun duration, melee block attack, all uh, melee attack and block of efficacy is going up. The numbers and modifiers are changing. So 49, if you're pure, pure might, become a warrior. Um, the conqueror, you get better stats at 76 might and warlord is the final one at 109 points and now you get a passive last stand right so this is like if you were to go 100 pure might you would end up as a warlord um with the finesse options right you go from rogue to scout so as you look at the numbers at the bottom they're going to actually go up so from 13 to 15 from 35 to 40 you get extra bonuses higher crit chance pierce damage become a hunter into a ranger where these numbers keep going up as an assassin now you get evasion so you start to get better stats and you end up as a night blade so you get this passive assassination guaranteed 200% crit after evasion so that's your like 109 pure finesse class right um, for sorcery you go from Acolyte to Initiate, you get Mana Cost Reduction, Elemental Damage, but as you go up, see so now you get Mana Regeneration to help you keep your mana up, you get Blink, you get little short range teleports as well, doing magical stuff, um, your Blink now does Ice Damage now, once you get there, Ice Blink 2, and Ice Blink, sorry, Archmage, which is the final tier 6, you get um, <laughs> your Duration base spells go up, which is cool. And you get another passive, Echoes of Fate. So that's like if you were to go 100% pure sorcery. So now where it gets cool is you see these combinations, Finesse Source, Might Source, and then Might Finesse. Remember those colors I was telling you about? This is when the colors start to blend. So it's a little visual visual thing that's pretty cool. But Finesse Sorcery, which is your yellow card, your blue card. Now you got these cool little green cards for your, um, for your fates. But yeah, now you, as you can see, 6 Finesse, 6 Sorcery. This combines a little bit of both, so you get elemental damage, but you also get pierce. Uh, this gives you crit chance, gives you dread, but you also get blink, like the like the pure sorcery do. Only difference is your blink is poison instead of ice damage. You still get the mana regen, you get some crit chance. It's a nice little hybrid of both, right? Into a spell cloak, and into a shadow caster. So this one is really cool, where your crits restore your MP. So it's a really like offensive style. But you see how it gives you some of the pierce, some of the elemental damage. It's a nice hybrid of both, right? Um, might sorcery. So you, you combine your red and your blue cards and make these purple ones. Could be a guardian, a battle mage. They also get blink, right? Because um, it's magical. But now you get elemental resistances. There's the gain 40% damage received as mana. But as you can see, you have to put points in might and sorcery up at the top, right? This one gives you total armor, right? So that helps with your health. All that type of stuff. Getting champions. So that's a that's a cool one. And then you have Might Finesse, which is your red and your yellow cards. So they these are the ones that come out orange. So you're combining Might Finesse, melee attack, and range attack. These ones are like probably the most offensive bonuses you'll get. Crit chance, melee damage, range damage, pierce damage. Pretty straightforward. You're like a weapons expert, you know? Duelist, Warden, Avenger, Slayer, and eventually a Blade Master. Alright. Um, this is crazy. You get like health and gold. <laughs> you get stealth bonuses. So that's that's that. You know, being a Blade Master. Now the cool thing is we're still not done. Because if you combine all three, right? This is where the cards become white. And you become a, literally a jack of all trades. So you can be a Seeker, which is like your first class, your first destiny, melee attack, range attack, magic attack, and equip requirements come down. 
which is useful. Um, so basically, uh, say like a piece of gear requires four might, well you can equip it because you because you're dispersing your points more. It lets you equip gear at a higher level very like early. Um, and it's very plus one to all skills is very important. It just makes all you you spend less points, but all your stuff gets buffed. So your skills actually become pretty. It kind of compensate for um, dispersing it too much. You get a plus to your skills. It's pretty useful. Um, equip requirements plus one to skills. This one's pretty good. Pretty good. Universalist. Oh, Universalist gives you every weapon combo in the game. Like instantly unlocks it. So you can put any weapon on and get all the combos, all the moves, and stuff like that. So that's kind of the idea of having destinies and combining them. And that's the alternative to having a, uh, a class system, so it's pretty cool.